Sugar in it. <laughs> what? When I was a kid, they pushed cereal commercials like it was crack. A crack going out of business sale. We got this crack and this crack and it all must go. All crack must go. <laughs> and to sweeten the deal, they threw in a free toy. Oh, I'm a free toy. I got scissors in my cereal. <laughs> I can't remember which brand of cereal it was, but I'm telling you the truth. Honestly, I got scissors in my cereal. Have you seen some of these cartoons that they have pushing their cereal? Toucan Sam is a crack dealer. My favorite one was the old school Cookie Crisp commercial. Cookie Crisp! The one with the ex-con with the black and white stripes and the dog chasing him. What was that about? That didn't even make any sense. But it doesn't have to make any sense because it's cookies in milk. And who doesn't like cookies in milk? Who? 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 I really like the Captain Crunch commercials. Not so much the cereal, but I really like the commercials. Because it was some old nice guy on a boat sailing around saving kids from the perils of their crack addiction. Genius idea. And after the old guy rescues them, he gives them their crack and they're happy. Those advertisers will come up with anything to sell their cereal so you can get your next fix. I still love cereal. <laughs> I can eat this crack morning, noon, and night. And I totally do. I've been through the 12 step program. And it doesn't work. Trust me, it doesn't work. I love, 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 love some Fruity Pebbles. In fact, I can eat a whole box of Fruity Pebbles. I am not lying. I can pour the milk right into the box and eat it right out of the box. Not that I've done that before, but I'm just saying. It sounds like a great idea. That's how addicting this crack is. There are cereals that I do not like. Like corn pops. Those things are just gross. They get slimy in milk and they slip and slide around in your mouth when you're trying to bite into them. And when you do bite into them, they're just spongy and slimy and gross. I did not like Lucky Charms. I always opened the box and just ate the marshmallows out of it. <laughs> One time, <laughs> I put all the marshmallows, I picked them all out of the box, I put them in a bowl and I had that for breakfast. One of my brothers got up and, and poured their Lucky Charms. There were no marshmallows in it, and they were really mad. <laughs> the marshmallows are the best part of Lucky Charms. Are you kidding me? Everything else in here is just cat food. Seriously, have you seen Meow Mix? It's the same shapes. What do you think that is? It's a fish. It's the same shaped fish that's in Meow Mix. Why is it in my Lucky Charms? I'm not eating that. You're not fooling me, General Mills. You can sprinkle marshmallows on your cat food all you want. I'm still not gonna eat it. No way, uh-uh, not now. Not ever. I'm not gonna eat no cat food crack cereal. I'll just stick to my Fruity Pebbles, thank you very much. But as we get older and we all do, our tastes change, we try to eat healthier and we try to incorporate healthier cereals into our diet. Healthier cereals without so much crack in it. And that's really hard to do because they sell that healthy cereal right next to the bad cereal. That's the equivalent of trying to stay clean and sober when your sponsor is a crack dealer. It's not going to work. You might be able to resist for a while and you'll buy your healthy cereal, but one of these days you're going to walk by a box of your favorite cereal with the crack in it and you're going to get it because you just haven't hit rock bottom yet. <laughs> My dad was a Frosted Flakes kind of guy, and we knew when his cereal was getting low, we did not touch his Frosted Crack. <laughs> frosted Crack. 